You should lock the doors next time. There won't be a next time. I guess so. You look paranoid. Cautious. I'm cautious. Okay, well, relax. No need to worry unless you were followed. I wasn't followed. Good. All right, now, in the suitcase. Yours first. No chance. Seriously, I need to see the money. Okay, but you're not going to like it. I won't like what? I just think your price is a little high. That's the price, like it or not. If you're telling me you don't have the money, I'm walking away. Go ahead. There are other sellers. How much less? Fifty grand. Fifty? That's a third of the price. You can't knock it down a third. I certainly can. This is absurd. This is ridiculous. It's a bargain. I've seen plenty of other sellers sell it for seventy-five grand. If you can get it for cheaper, then why come to me at all? Our mutual friend. I like to keep on his good side. I can't let this go for anything less than 125. Come on now. Don't make me bring him into this. No. Just take the suitcase and walk away. Just take the money. You can walk out of here with a hundred thousand dollars. Don't be greedy. You know what? What? You're bluffing. I'm not bluffing. No, you are. And you know how I know. Because if this deal didn't go through, he'd kill you. All I'd have to do is give him a call. He's not a mutual friend. He's my friend. You're just an acquaintance to him, and I happen to know he doesn't particularly like you. And what's more is you need this piece for your little project. And if that project doesn't work, you're going to die. There aren't any other sellers, are there? No. That'd be too risky for you. So wherever you're keeping the other third, hand it over. I don't have time for this. I hope you're happy about this. Oh, very much so. But if I were you, I'd be more worried about him. <laughs>